this this legislation has been called landmark legislation, and I truly believe it is. We're, I believe, the ninth state in the country to set net zero goals for 2050. That's historic, it's amazing, and it's where we need to be as a state. And I'm so proud to have worked with everybody who's here today, both speaking and in the audience supporting this bill. Any big piece of legislation does not happen overnight, it does not happen easily, and it does not happen alone. Um, and so I really want to express my very deepest appreciation to everybody who worked so hard on this bill, not just this year, but for over a decade, versions of this bill had been introduced. In 2014, Senator Conley was able to get the Resilient RI bill passed, which allowed us to set the framework that led to today's victory. And I think that the history, the history is important to understand and recognize that while sometimes the change that we want to see does not happen overnight, the progress continues to happen day by day and year by year. And it happens when we come together and work for a cause that's important and that is bringing us into the future. So I want to thank everybody who's here today. I want to, in addition to those who have been recognized, I also want to recognize um, Newport's Mayor, Jean Marie Napolitano, um, former Mayor, Jane Bova, and uh, City Councilor, Elizabeth Forte. Thank you for hosting us um, and hosting this event here today in our beautiful city. Um, I also think it's important to recognize that in 2012, Bowen's Wharf was underwater with Hurricane Sandy. We're just, we're less than a mile from the highest percentage of colonial homes in the country. This is history, this is our culture, this is our economy that we need to protect. And we also need to use it, as has been mentioned, as an opportunity to build our economy, to transition into a clean energy future, to bring jobs and innovation to our state that will impact not just our state, but will impact this issue globally. And so I want to thank all of you for all of your work and all of the efforts that went into this bill. I especially want to thank um, the Senate President. Um, you know, joking aside, I, I was a fly on the wall in his office pretty constantly um, for the past couple years on this legislation. And he always would listen. He was always, his door was always open. He wanted to understand the issue and he wanted to work on it with me to make, because it was my priority, it was his priority. And that has been my experience working with the Senate President. And it was so important and to get this bill across the finish line. So I want to give a, a special recognition and thanks to him for that. advocate. She's somebody who's one of the hardest working people that I know. And she very often is behind the scenes and doesn't, um, you know, doesn't make a lot of hay about the hard work that she puts in. And so I'm very grateful that she's able to be the house sponsor um, getting this bill across the finish line. And so with that, I want to introduce and, and, and welcome my good friend, Representative Warren.